So the question I want to answer today is how do you name a pair of enantiomers either R and S? Which one is R and which one is S? So if we just draw a molecule on here, the question is, is that the R enantiomer or the S enantiomer? Well, remember, this carbon has four bonds, really, but we've only drawn three of them. Two in the plane of the page, one coming out of the page, so we must draw the one that's going back. And if it's not been told you otherwise, you assume that it's hydrogen. So now we have to label the groups according to the priority rules. Now this is a chiral centre because there are four different groups. There's a hydroxyl or an alcohol group, there's a hydrogen, there's a methyl and then there's the rest of this part of the molecule. But all four groups are different. So how do we prioritise them? Well remember the first thing we do is we look at atomic number and oxygen has a higher atomic number than both carbon and hydrogen so we say that the oxygen has priority one then for the purposes of this lecture course hydrogen will always be four and that just leaves this carbon here and this carbon here but if you look more closely this carbon is a CH3 has three low priority atoms attached to it whereas this carbon only has two hydrogens and another carbon so this group over here or this carbon has more higher priority atoms attached to it than this one so we say that this group over here is two and this is three so if you wanted to redraw that molecule so it was less complicated, you could just redraw it like this. Well, instead of having the complicated structures, you just have group one for the oxygen, group four for the hydrogen, group three for this methyl group, and group two for that group. And you can see that because four is going back under the desk, the groups go around clockwise. And so we say this is the R enantiomer. If the group went around the other way, so if we redraw this, this, but instead of having, if we change the order of groups here, so this is still two, this is still three, but if we break these two bonds and swap them over so that four is coming forward and one is going back, then yes, it's still going around clockwise, but we're looking at it from the wrong direction. Remember, you have to look from the cow center down this carbon, sorry, down this group of lowest priority. But in this example, we're looking from the group of lowest priority to the carbon centre. So that's the wrong way. So there's two ways you can do this. You can either redraw the molecule by flipping it over. And so if I flip this over, group two comes onto the right hand side now, group three over to the left. And by flipping it over, one comes forward and four goes back. So you can see that now we've redrawn this molecule we've got the S and enantiomer. Another way to do it would be to look at this and say, well, I'm looking at it the wrong way. It would be R. However, because it's the wrong way, I'm going to change my mind and say that it's not R. It must be S. But you only change the answer when the group of lowest priority is pointing towards you.